with a cleaner, better quality punches. Look how tired Pickering's legs look. Mustering up courage, Asian Pickering. But it doesn't seem to have worked in the last half of this fight. Listen to the singing, Jim. And Hunter still looks the one who's prepared just to dig that a little bit deeper. Pickering was not expecting this time a battle, and he's found it difficult to cope with it. Without the two knockdowns against him, you'd have no doubt that Michael Hunter would win this by a mile. But he's had to do it the hard way. Yeah, this one will on my card, Arlene. He's winning this round, and for me, he's two points up. Really looking forward to seeing how the judges have scored this. Last five seconds of what's been a terrific tussle for the British Commonwealth and European Super Bantamweight title. And they believe Port Nicole feels that their champion has won the fight of his life. Unbeaten in five years, this would be his defining night. But the Ingalls raise each and pickering aloft, and we just don't know yet. But mathematically, I have him winning it. But beyond that, sometimes you look at a fight and you think, who deserves? to win tonight, and that's Michael Hunter in my book. Richie Davis and Mark Green are right alongside us, two of the judges, and they don't know. They don't know who's won. That's how close the rounds were. They don't know how they've scored it. Well, there you can see how I've scored it. Hunter by two points, turning it all the way around. But the, the feeling overall is that this young man deserves it. He gave everything of himself. He wore his hat on his sleeve, didn't look for any easy ways to get the job done. Great determination, Carly, they showed everything for me he deserves to, to, to leave with three titles tonight. How do we round this up? A seesaw swinging battle. Well, a mountain to climb. Look, look at this point. The Pickering fancied an early night because every time he landed the left hook, that was the result. Didn't look as though Hunter had the punch resistance to compete at this level. But straight away he started coming back at Pickering, outworking him, taking away Pickering's smoothness. You see, in the early stages, Pickering starting to look to spoil, then to look to get on the back foot and win a couple of easy rounds without committing himself, just trying to take a breather. But Hunter was always the one showing the intensity, the drive, the determination, the will to win, and I think he deserves to win. And he finished it, turned things all the way around, and my card, as you can see, two points up. Great fight, great effort. And let's have a look at these statistics. Punches thrown, 1,200 almost. The success for Hunter. Has he done it? Has he got it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your full attention? Thank you. Here on Friday Fight Night, I do believe you have just witnessed the fight of the year, and on behalf of referee John Keane, I'd like you to show your appreciation before I read the judges' scorecards. <laughs> Judge Richie Davis scores a contest 112-115. Judge Ian John Lewis scores a contest 113-114. Judge Mark Green scores a contest 113-113. Therefore, your winner, and still the British champion, and the new... And their biggest boxing success champion. for 53 years since Teddy Gardner held the British Eastern. Empire Pickering. and European titles. Michael Hunter, undefeated, triple champion and in tears. Yeah, a big underdog, but I think justice has been done. I think the man who really wanted it most was home with the three titles tonight. Congratulations. He showed everything that you look for in a champion. Can only go on to bigger and better things. He's not ready to think about what level yet. He has three titles and he can make himself a nice few quid while he strives towards one class.
covered in belts, and the fans celebrate. Close on the cards, Mark Green gave it a draw. It was that sort of an affair, but the feeling, Jim, is that the right man gets the belts tonight. Yeah, I just feel the rounds that Hunter won, he went out and won them. No question, grit his teeth and did it the hard way. Pickering boxed well, scored a couple of knockdowns, but he's got him to a good start, but then he looked to steal a couple of rounds to cause do things the easy way. Well, this is not an easy game. You have to be prepared to do it the hard way. Hunter made it his kind of fight, and it paid off for him. He got the result. Tenacity from Michael Hunter. How will he put this into words? And Robinson will try and find out. Well, Michael, Michael, a triple champion in front of your home fans. Try and sum up how you're feeling. Well, I just, it's OK. It's all right for an easy road, kid, you know what I mean? I do all this. That's another story, a Rax and Richard story later. But uh, I take my head off to Sam. He caught me flush in the first two rounds. I, I wasn't hurt. Uh, he got me, he's a, he's a genuine world class fighter. I just, I've got that much bottle and art to win, you know what I mean? I take some beating, I take some slumming. How did you survive those first two lockdowns and shake that off? Tell the truth about it, I'm very fit and I just shook it off like just like a snap of a finger. You know, I'm very, very fit and I'm very strong for this weight, you know. If I do it properly, no one can beat me. I have to take anyone on. Isham, no arguments yeah. with the verdict? Now, I thought I won the fight. I thought it did great to get through the knockdowns. I give him all the credit in the world, he's strong and durable. But hopefully he'll give me a rematch, because I, I was going to give him one. If it was a good fight. It looked like it seemed a good fight. Was it a good fight? It was an incredible fight. He deserves a rematch, mate. Yeah, he can have a rematch you know down I mean? he wants. You know what I mean? I definitely deserves a rematch. I thought I won the fight with the first couple of rounds. I don't but he's very strong time. and very fit. It'll Michael. Be, it'll have to be in a week's time because he's having two days off. All right, no problem. We'll have to do it in uh, Newark or Sheffield. Michael, no did you win that? Michael, play. did you win that on your willpower? Yeah, I did, yeah. You know, like Neil said, you know, that's, that's what I am. I'm a brave man. You know, them shots just hit me flush on the chin. I wasn't hurt. I just stayed down for the count, as you do with experience. But I got up and I just shook it off like that. You know, he's a great champion. He's a world-class performer. But I just I just think I've got the art and the ability and the mental ability to beat anyone at my weight, anyone. You know, all these big top names. I'll have a go with them. I'll give them a run for the money. Congratulations, both of you, on a great fight. Oh, yes, it was, Ed. We knew they were two good men. We hoped...